Hello, and welcome to Cam Cam on the Cam, a channel about collegiate rowing on the River Cam. The language of rowing can seem strange and confusing to newcomers of the sport. On top of that, rowing on the Cam comes with its own vocabulary that's different from rowing elsewhere, too. This video will go through some important terms and phrases that beginners to rowing on the Cam should learn. This video won't contain any coxing phrases, which will be discussed fully in the next video on basic coxing calls. This video will explain some general rowing terms, then some parts of the boat, and end with some college-specific terms. Each boat club also has its own set of terms and phrases, so please let me know in the comments below if I have missed any terms your boat club uses, and I can include them in another video in the future. An eight is a racing shell crewed by eight rowers and one cox. A racing shell is a type of rowing boat designed for speed, and are the most common types of rowing boat on the river cam. A rower is an athlete who moves the eight using their oar. The cox is the person who controls the boat, including the rowers. The bow seat is the rower furthest from the cox and nearest to the front of the boat. The stroke seat is the rower closest to the cox and nearest the back of the boat. The bow side is, to the cox, the right hand side of the boat and is the side on which the bow seat normally rows. The stroke seat is, to the cox, the left hand side of the boat and is the side on which the stroke seat normally rows. Downstream is the direction in which water is flowing, whereas upstream is against the flow of the water. On the cam, downstream is away from town and upstream is towards town. Backstops refers to a position where a rower sits with their legs straight and blade handle in their chest. Front stops is the opposite of backstops and is a, the position where rowers sit with their legs fully compressed and blade buried in the water. A novice is someone new to rowing. In Cambridge, it means someone who hasn't rowed for a full eight-week term yet. A senior is an experienced rower. In Cambridge, it means someone who has rowed or coxed for at least one full term. The bow is the front of the boat. The stern is the rear of the boat. The bow ball is a rubber button covering the front of the bow to prevent it from impaling anyone in the event of a collision. The rudder is a metal or carbon fibre plate beneath the boat that allows the cox to turn the boat. The rudder wires are wires that a cox uses to turn the rudder. A rigger is one of eight metal supports attached to the hull of the boat that are designed to secure an oar whilst rowing and the rigger is made of a gate, a swivel and a pin. A swivel is a U-shaped piece of plastic at the end of the rigger which holds a blade during rowing, preventing it from falling out. A gate is a metal bar that secures a rower's blade into the swivel. A pin is a spindle of metal that allows the swivel to rotate whilst rowing. A blade is an oar designed for rowing. The spoon is the end of the blade that catches the water and they are usually painted in college club colours. The seat is a seat which the rowers sit on, but it is also a seat on wheels which allows the rowers to use their full body during the rowing stroke. The slides are the metal rails the seat is attached to. The length of the slide determines how much a rower compresses their body during the stroke. A cox box is a device that plugs into the boat, into which a cox can speak to amplify their voice, and it also provides important information, such as the speed of the boat or the stroke rate. The shoes are just regular shoes, but they are tied into the boat, and they keep the rower attached to the boat to stop them falling out or falling off their seat. A boatie is someone involved in boat club activities as a rower, a cox, or just a friend of the boat club, and it can be used as an insult or as a term of endearment. Lighting up and down mark the end of the hours of darkness, the time where college crews aren't allowed on the river. More information can be found in my 10 Golden Rules of the River video. Bumps are a type of race held three times a year in Cambridge. More information about them can be found in my video on them. Fairburns is a race held by JCBC at the end of Michaelmas term. I hope to provide more information about Fairburns in a future video on the race. BCD stands for Boat Club Dinners, which are types of formal hall specially hosted by boat clubs, generally to celebrate the end of term or the end of a race. Tribal 
is Cambridge's largest garden party, held after the May bumps by the Downing tribe. Idlers and Martlets is a garden party held on the same morning as the Day of Tribal. I hope this video has been helpful in unveiling some of the mysteries of the rowing language. As I said at the start, I'll make another video soon on coxing terminology and basic coxing calls, which will also include some more rowing terminology if there are some other phrases that you have come across but don't quite understand. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you next time.